Hi guys, welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Speaking of styling content, I am switching things up a little today because I wanted to go more into the micro trends. I already went through all the major um, fashion trends that we should expect and look out for and what we could look out for when we're thrifting throughout the year. There comes a point where, for instance, now it's spring and you start seeing certain things. I remember when the denim skirt trend was unavoidable because it was everywhere. So these are some of the things that I'm beginning to see everywhere. Now that, you know, we've taken off a lot of the big chunky coats, we can actually see what people are wearing <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's some of the things I wanted to explore today. And I'm going to start out, which is a bit of a cheat because this is an entire outfit, which is about four things in one. But the first thing is the classic style. Now, someone made a um, comment in last week's video. She said, I am thrifting, uh, picking up a few different things than I normally thrift and I have a few reasons for that. One, it's really hard for me sometimes to come out of the winter blues funk. So I tend to be a little more subdued um, heading into spring sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, I'm ready to get out of this. Let's go. And another time I'm just like, trying to like will myself into <laughs> being a little more dramatic but right now i'm really enjoying just making sure that elevated casual is you know my usual go-to and right now i'm more into elevated classics and that's the first category so We've seen in fashion that a lot of the changes, a lot of the trends have been very muted and very subdued. Um, they were calling it old money and all these things, but really it's just classic style. And for now, when we're just heading into spring, we can layer up, we can do a lot of things during spring and um, we're seeing a lot lot more not just from the people who are doing you know the whole scandy look but everyone is really getting into the classic style and what that intends that you can find at the fifth store starting out with pants so pants is a long time love i can throw this on with t-shirts and in the cooler months i can throw it on with a sweater um crew neck mock neck um, turtleneck it doesn't matter but it always really looks nice and casual paired with like sandals um, flats sneakers and now is no different so definitely want to look out into look into the thrift store for your um, nice relaxed pants a nice wide leg is nice a nice straight leg is nice I'm partial to a to a pencil because you know for my trimmer hips having a tapered vintage pants really gives me a nice hourglass shape silhouette so I'm partial still to a tapered pants and the colors I look for is your classic black your navy throw in some white for spring, summer, and, you know, tan. I found some brown recently. Not the best fitting. They're more of a boxy shape, so I'm still on the lookout for that vintage um, nipped in waist and, you know, a nice curvature on the body. So, yeah, so first off, you want to look at your pants for your styling. And these, you know, classic staple wardrobe. You can wear it now if you're in a warm, cooler climate and you want to put a knit on, or you can transition into t-shirts coming up. The next item in your classic outfit, you're looking for button downs. Yes, on the trend list, there were a lot of florals and there's always floral for springs. I will not quote that very redundant line. <laughs> but what we're seeing a lot is a striped shirt. And if you've been watching my video, you know I hoard striped shirts. I've had enough um, she says, but definitely you can find striped shirts and now spring moving into summer is definitely the time for that striped shirt and you can definitely pair any of your striped shirts with any of these classic bottoms, the black, the navy, the white or the tan and it gives a completely different look surprisingly just by changing out the bottoms with the striped shirt. 
Another shirt that always makes a statement is the classic white shirt as well as your classic black button down. So stick, look out for your button downs. I always size up. I like a nice roomy look and that's more of the trend. Just a nice relax, nothing sucking in, no buttons looking like they're about to pop. Um, so just feel free to go up a size and shop in the men's, shop in the boys, depending on what um, will give you that nice relax effortless look then they're good to go and the thrift store is definitely places you can find that i love when i find a fabulous um ralph lauren um shirt with a little logo right here um but definitely there are so many other types you can find of course when you're thinking about layering and spring you definitely are looking either for a tank top um or a t-shirt so you know your classic black and white tanks and your classic black and white t-shirts you could even go for gray um but a white shirt will go under anything so you know you definitely can just pick up black and white and if you feel a little more adventurous if you know you wear a lot of grays or you you do well with mixing grays and browns i love grays and browns together then definitely grab a gray as well definitely 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 can find solid t-shirts at the thrift store you might just be going away with fruit of the loom but no one cares it looks really nice i love how boxy the fruit of the looms are they're very thick and they will keep their structure so even you know we're not going brand sensitive we're just looking at a sleek outfit and you don't need to worry about what brands the, the items are if you're just thrifting for a specific style. So that's another tip. If you are in a warmer climate, you might still want to opt for a blazer. I, you know, love thrifting blazers. You see me thrift some fabulous, very structured blazers. I tend to stick more to the men because I like that structured fit. But if you want a more relaxed feeling, a little more nipped in waist, definitely you can thrift in the women's section as well. And a lot of those more, um, what do you call it, workwear type thrift stores is a great place to find a lot of these classics. I've had comments where people say, you know, my thrift store just doesn't have, you know, great stuff, but you can create great style with very simple classic pieces. So definitely look out for your blazers, your navy. Navy has been really trending since last year, um, but definitely um, I'm also feeling really strongly towards the navy. So look out for your navies, your blacks, your grays, um, your tans and your whites. You know, you're basically just creating a nice um, staple, what do you call it, um, staple wardrobe that you can just mix and match um, these pieces just as we speak. So that is the next thing you can thrift. And finally, this one is not necessarily every year, but why not if it's your style and it's flattering on you, but Bermuda shorts are back. So definitely look out for the Bermuda shorts. The Bermuda shorts paired with any one of your button downs. You could even have the button down over with your tank or your t-shirt if it's still a little cool. Roll the sleeves up, you know me, I love our rolled sleeve. And you know, sandals or flats, perfect again for finding in the thrift store. So definitely look for that. And if you're, you know, very DIY-esque, you can find a nice fitting pants and you can make that Bermuda shorts to the length you want. So boom, there you go. <laughs> if all you're finding are pants, you can create your own um, Bermuda shorts. As long as you know, you can, you know, sew in a straight line or, you know, what do you call it? A little, do a little hem, iron it out. Perfect. You can still you can still get your Bermuda shorts. And that's definitely on the trend list, but definitely on the classic list that you can find and thrift as well. So definitely look out for those when you go thrifting. And just in this category alone, you can have so much mix and match. And this can just be like your base everyday um, wardrobe. So definitely look out for these pieces when you go thrifting. You won't be surprised when I mention ballet flats. Now, I had a love-hate relationship with ballet flats because there was a period of my um, life where I only wore heels. And there was a period of my life where the higher, the better the heel. <laughs> Ever since I moved to New York and I had to keep hiking it to the subway and back and forth and I had to find more practical shoes, then I, that's when I started wearing um, sneakers and more flats and loafers. I always liked loafers, but not so much sneakers. Sneakers. I'd only wear sneakers if I had a sporting event or because um, I'm a performer, if I had to do a stage um, performance where it requires sneakers, I'd have sneakers simply for performing 
or I, I remember when I went to college, um, the, we had like a lot of sporting events at campus and I, I had to buy, I remember it's a pair of Adidas. I don't remember what the name of it, but it was a nice running shoes. Um, but that I, I had nothing. I didn't even have flats. I mean, even my flip flops had heels on it. So <laughs> it's not until I came here and based on the lifestyle, I really got into sneakers and um, ballet flats and loafers, but I'll stick to ballet flats and loafers for right now because those you can definitely thrift. Um, and again, one thing that is trending is the Chanel ballet flats. And now that Alaya um, kind of strap over ballet flats, those have been market trending, even though Chanel ballet flats is a classic and it's been with it for a while, a lot more people are styling the trend and getting into trend. And so now that in itself has become a little niche again with the Alaya um, shoes, but you can find those similar shapes in the, the thrift store again, not brand sensitive. You just need to make sure that it fits your feet and gives that, that elegant look and you can still find the look and create the look head to toe without being brand sensitive. I created a shorts looking for, um, you know, trending shoes. Um, if I'll link it below so you can check that out, but I just went looking for shoes and I found one that kind of matches the criteria of the Alaya. It's just like a perforated kind of shoes with a big elastic, um, band and wearing it with like long jeans or pants, you know, it still gives you the idea and the style of the, of the Alaya with, without finding the exact thing. Because right now you, unless you go on like Mango and Zara, which you can go ahead to the retail and get those things for a lower cost. But if you just want to thrift your wardrobe, then you can definitely find those things as well. And if you want to switch out your ballet flats, depending on what you're wearing, you may not want to do the ballerina flats. The, the loafers may go better. For instance, if you want to go daring with your Bermuda shorts and those loafers, a blazer and one of those button downs or a t-shirt, is a perfect look. So definitely um, look out for some loafers and ballet flats um, when you go out thrifting. Speaking of sneakers, the next category of the micro trend that you're seeing everywhere is the Adidas sneakers. Now, I've not seen the Adidas Samba um, when I go thrifting, believe me, I looked. <laughs> but what you'll find is that the Adidas, how do you say it? Adidas sneakers with those stripes. They just create just the slightest little statement um, when you pair them with, say, um, with dress pants. So, you know, you have on your shirt, your pants, throw in some of those Adidas stripe sneakers. You can even go for some color. I've been seeing them doing a lot of pop of color, in like a green um, or a navy. You can definitely play around with that with a more classic style and then you just throw in those sneakers so you don't again have to look for a deep for the sambas but just using that as a cue to say okay let me throw in a little more graphic on the foot and make it a little more casual as well um, by looking out for some of the Adidas. So you have several different, because it's in its DNA, you can definitely find different, several variations. I think the Adidas Originals, but there's another, um, like a suede one, I forgot what that's called, that you can also find because I've seen it out thrifting. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And just even those um, low bottom, like walking sneakers, um, not the trainer looking ones. That was definitely a trend one um, before. We still have a few of those, but right now it's more of those sleeker trainers that you put with pants that look so chic and so laid back. You can definitely find those thrifting, so keep an eye out for that as well. Taking a break from shoes, there's a belt trend in where people are just pairing these classic outfits with just a nice solid belt with a gold buckle or a silver buckle. I have seen so many of these um, very understated buckles that you can definitely find out of thrifting. For me, with a classic line, classic outfit, what usually makes my outfits a little different is when I throw in a nice 80s buckle vintage belt, um, <laughs> which I still do, but for days where I just want to keep it nice and clean and probably put the pop on my foot or somewhere else, then definitely I would go for one of those classic styles. When you look, you can definitely find those belts. Um, they even have like two-sided, you can flip it around. I recently found a silver buckle 
belt and it's two-sided it's black on one side um, brown on one side and it's just a nice clean silver buckle i also have a coach gold buckle and i just keep it nice and simple nice brown leather you can definitely find leather and you can definitely find those sleek lined belts and so definitely look out in the belt section when you go thrifting as well. One belt that, as they say, has been living rent free in my mind is a designer belt that you can definitely find at the thrifts. And if you can't find it out and about in the wild and you're really like me that really wanted that look right now, I, you can definitely find it online thrifting and the one i'm talking about is the ysl belt now they have recreated this um vintage style belt and i've seen it one was like a good year and another one was uh Landvin. i've definitely seen it online and i went and got uh, this Pierre Cardin buckle that I will add a belt to, but I really wanted a really striking gold. Some of the more ones that I've been seeing weren't a bright, brilliant gold, but I've definitely seen a lot of exact vintage style of this belt. I've also seen like belt sets, vintage belt sets. I think Avon did some vintage belt sets with that square buckle. So without having that black plaque inside, you still get the idea of it with just that vintage, almost menswear looking belt. And so I've seen a few, I've seen square ones, I've seen round ones. You could even go down the street of finding a vintage um, YSL belt. I've seen vintage Dior that's similar to that. I think I saw vintage Bali, but they're definitely playing on my mind. <laughs> and so I had to go out and get one of those online. So they, they, they run from different prices. I think the the belt sets that I saw were like $20 on eBay. And then you have like the higher end vintage designer ones, which will run you closer to $100, but definitely it's still lower than the four and $600 of the current YSL belt. So it's definitely something you can look out for. I just haven't seen it yet. And I got impatient and bought mine online, <laughs> but I'm still looking out for something even closer to the YSL version. But you know, these vintage belts are out there. I sometimes usually skip over the men's section and and I'm sure I can find it in the men's section. So that's definitely something that you can look out for thrifting. And this is more of a designer dupe now that you can find when you go out thrifting. So definitely look out for that because that belt has been everywhere and it is stuck in my head. <laughs> For handbags, you know, no look is complete without a fabulous little handbag. And we spoke about red trending for this year. And if you don't want to do all over red, then definitely look out for a red handbag. That pop of red with a classic outfit like we've just put together is definitely going to be a nice show piece. So whether you're wearing it with your flats, um, your loafers, your ballet flats, or your sneakers, a little pop of red in your bag is just gonna be like the chicest thing when you go down and you're just making very minimal um statements with these classic pieces and then just that one little pop of red will definitely take it over the top the other bag you can thrift because now that we're in spring i need to go and grab my millions of <laughs> straw and raffia bags but definitely look out for straw and raffia bags last year i think i did a thrift that video and i focused on just straw um, and wicker summer bags so i'll definitely link that below as well that was a fun one to do and i got so much inspiration but definitely you can check that video out for more inspiration of raffia bags you can still definitely find those today but definitely look out for those again if you're not brand sensitive but you like a certain shape a certain color i like a lighter um tan wash bag i'm not so much for the darker basket weaves i see some darker ones and i see some extremely lighter ones as well i like the mid-tone basket bags so definitely look for what goes for you but you can definitely go thrifting with that and even though we tend to think of raffia and straw more for you know dresses etc i love but doing a nice button down and shirt and you know those ballet flats with a raffia bag in spring summer perfect just that little contrast makes so much more of a style statement and element with that outfit so definitely keep your eye out 
for some raffia bags and for red bags when you've got thrifting you'll definitely be able to find that and finally just to round out this little mini micro trend video you can definitely thrift sling bags again in my shorts i found an awesome pair of navy sling bags and it's kitten heels so you can definitely find your kitten heel thing your kitten heel sling back trends at the thrift. Definitely look out for a pointy toe, a little more elongated. Mine had a slight little square at the end, but it still has a nice elongated um, look. Fabulous little kitten heel. Again, if you're just wearing your shirt, your pants, a little kitten heel sticking out when you want to be a little more elevated, then definitely you can thrift that as well. So let me know in the comment section if you found any of these things, if you went thrifting and you're able to find some of these after watching this come back and let me know what you found i had someone from my last video told me that you went online and found one of my tops i think it's a signature top you found thank you for the info that it's from canada so definitely i love the feedback let me know if we're twinning <laughs> and let me know if this video helped you at all for when you go out thrifting i love 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 to hear the feedback so so I am also looking, I need to update some of the pants that I have. I'm looking out for Bermuda shorts. I'm looking for everything basically, <laughs> regardless of what I have, you know, I can always freshen things up um, in my closet as well. For my outfit details, I am trying to stay on top of that and posting it on Instagram. So if you want to see what I'm wearing today, definitely check out my Instagram and don't forget to give it a follow when you while you're there. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to your comments about what you have found and what you thrifted and if this video has helped you um, in any way so let me know in the comments as well don't forget to subscribe I'd love for you to join the family if there are people who you know that you think would enjoy watching a thrift and styling video please share my content with them as well as well if you did like this video please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one